here in South Dakota as we prepare for the third of the women's compound individual quarterfinals and another cracker. Time now for the women's compound quarterfinal between Amanda Milnaric of Croatia and Jyoti Venom of India. Shooting on target number one, representing Croatia, Amanda Milnaric. Shooting on target number two, representing India, Jyoti Srekta Venom. Well, another cracking quarterfinal here in South Dakota, Riverside Park in Yankton. Jyoti Venom of India up against Amanda Milmaric of Croatia. Nikki, what say you? God, this is a tough one, isn't it? Both incredible archers. Jyoti uh, already had a, a World Championship medal, but Amanda coming straight from the Youth World Championships is a champion as well. Double World Youth Champion, Mil Maric, up against the Indian who got a bronze in Den Bosch two years ago at these World Championships, and it will be a Venom to shoot first. Both starting very solid. Great conditions here today. No movement at all. Shot just breaking. Nine. Just a touch high, good group in to make that adjustment on the side that she needs. Perfect start from JT Sareka Venom. Putting some pressure on the 20 year old. He's not got a bad grouping, but to see the 28 there, and it's already a two point lead for the Indian. There's a big difference, isn't there, from jumping from World Youth Champion up into the senior ranks, but at the first time of asking, as a, a full senior now, uh, Amanda Milnaric is in the Elite Eight. She's, she's already done as well as one could expect. Yeah, I mean, it has been done before. Um, Stefan Hansen did it back in 2015, taking the junior title and then the senior title. So, yeah, I mean, it is a big step up, but at this level at 50 metres, um, you know, they're not dissimilar scores, I guess, you know, moving from one to the other. It's not like changing distance or anything like that. Um, you know, they know the standard, they know where they need to be, and here she is in the top eight at this World Championships. And will there be any concern at all that she was making those adjustments, and making those adjustments herself to her release end? Uh, things probably just aren't feeling quite right out there, so whether she wants to make it a little bit easier to go off, a little bit harder to go off, then you know, just a, a touch of adjustment on the on the release. Some people will have different ones in their pouch, you just wouldn't know, so they just pick out a different one. Um, but perhaps she's just got the one in there. Well, Amanda Bill March, the 2019 and 2021 World Youth Champion, trails. And she will shoot first in the second end of this women's quarterfinal place in the semis up for grabs. Interesting because it looked like she had quite an amount of travel on that then. She put a thumb on to the trigger and we saw the trigger move a bit before it then went off so take another look at that but usually you set up your release aid so there's no travel on it. It doesn't move before it goes off. <laughs> Nine points. looking really solid. No movement there. 
boundary ring. That's it. Oh, yeah. Right, recovered from a nine in the middle. I say recovered, that sounds very harsh. 29 out of 30 is a brilliant score. But at this level, they're looking for perfect scores all the time. And that's a second one for Jyoti Venom. She is looking like she's here for business. Nikki. She's looking so solid, there's just no movement. She looks like she's hanging on that back wall, thumb on the trigger, and it's just going off. So, yeah, really, really lovely shots. But Amanda's technique is puzzling me slightly. I'm pretty sure that is a true uh, sort of trigger release aid, and she seems to be putting a thumb on it. There seems to be quite a bit of movement then before it actually goes off, which for me, I just would feel that, you know, to your brain to feel that movement would be a bit um, disruptive, but. I guess that's how she normally shoots it. Get a close up of this. You can see that thumb on the uh, right hand. Actually, that's a hinge release there, so that explains she's just hanging on the back. And as she's pulling, there'll be a slight change in the angle of the release aid, and that'll set it off. So. Yeah, true back tension happening there. Oh, <laughs> Carrying the weight of the world on her shoulders there from Milnaric. She uh, trails in this one by three points after two ends. She needs to forget about that. Time for end number three. A couple of different steps, wasn't there, in there, in there, the thumb there, on that trigger. As opposed to this true hinge, just pushing and pulling, off it goes, shooting so well. So explain the, the couple of so steps. The thumb going on to the trigger now, see that movement has just come off completely, a little bit of movement, mo can you see how much movement there is of that trigger, which is quite unusual for a trigger release aid, usually we set them up for no travel at all, because as soon as you feel that, your brain registers, oh, something's happening, and it can um, sort of make you hesitate the shot, yeah. anticipate the shot, I should say. You don't see it quite as clearly from this angle, that's the better angle, so... That back thumb. Unless it's a safety mechanism where it's going on to the end of a safety and then acting as a sort of back tension, but yeah, that's a that's a an odd one. That. Well, a little bit of a bigger spread. I mean, we're still great grouping, and another perfect score for a 90, of a possible 90 for a Venom. We've been talking about Milnarich, but Venom has slowly but surely been banging in the tens. Agent there uh, checking the Croatian's uh, feathers by the looks of things. Yeah, the Fletchins on the back. So most compounders shoot like a plastic vein. Um, so just checking that they're all stuck down well. If part of that vein had become unattached, um, like it a bit flapped around on the way to the target, that would cause a lot of drag and then that send the arrow low. So really important that, you know, everything's stuck on as it should be. We'll get another close-up of uh, Miranda Milmarich in between ends. She's... Uh, battled against someone who hasn't dropped any points here and finally we see a little bit of a lifting of the spirits uh, the coach doing their job there to get the athlete prepared there is nothing more that she can do than she tends to put pressure on JT Venom and we'll try that right now start of end number four Setting into this a bit better now. Look how still and solid she is. Another ten. Amanda's got an interesting hand position as well. That fingertips are all the way around the front of the bow, almost on the other side. 
Mislim da je nad srče baš. Srča kem. Da je pura. See the difference here, fingertips just on the front of the bow, much more common. Smashing her arrow, unfortunately that's going to be a nine for sure, the other one might be there for a measure. Well, this is looking so good for Jyoti Soroka Venom. She has quietly plucked away at that 10 and X ring. And hasn't dropped a single point so far. India never won a world championship title in archery. Venom looks like she's here for business. Well, Norwich here has battled with some demons and, and Nikki you talked about this technique uh, I mean it's, it's almost like a, a target shooter has a double draw on the on the trigger on the gun they take it to a halfway point I think you could eventually refer to it as a safety position yeah it might be that this release if, if it's not a true trigger that it's just you pull it back and it's gone maybe it's pulling the trigger to a point and at that point that's the safety is off and then it will release with like a back tension so it may be that that's happening but She's obviously having some problems with that because we've seen the thumb come on, come off. So, you know, we want to see that to be confident, getting your thumb on there, get into that position where you need to be and, and ex executing the shot well. So therein lies some of her problems today. Uh, trying to forge a smile on her face, Amanda Vilmarich. She uh, should be pleased because one of those nines, as you predicted, has been marked up to a 10. So Vilmarich still trailing by five instead of six now will shoot first and really this one's out of reach so she can relax a little bit and just pump down some tens it would be good to see her get a perfect looks smoother didn't it but another nine No movement, so solid. It's the highest arrow though so far. <laughs> it's still in the ten. You're being picky now, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, really, yes, you could say I'm being a bit picky, but Jyoti Venom didn't look too happy with that either. She looked a bit annoyed. There we go. Right back in the centre. Yeah, finishing with a 29. Uh, don't say it, Nikki. Don't say it. Five to win. Let's go with that. Oh, she has done it. That's. A perfect score of 150 for Jyoti Sureka of Venom of India. The Indians have never won a world championship title, but boy, what a performance from Jyoti Venom. She's through to the semi-finals here in Yankton. Well, look, in some respects, certainly in the courtry box here, the focus was off Jyoti uh, Venom, no pressure on her. Um, and what a fantastic uh, thing to see the double world youth champion Marich a little bit but we ended up talking about her technique about the Croatians and the usual hand positions both front and back in the background this lady here threw down a perfect score yeah because she was consistent all the way through wasn't she JT she just got out there did her shot stuck with it good timing um, yeah, really, really good shooting. 150 out of 150. Let's see what she can do. A good experience for Amanda Milmaric of Croatia. She rolls her eyes, but she's made it through to the top eight in the Senior World Championships, having twice been and world youth champion. And JT Venom really here for business. And he's certainly one that we've got to keep an eye on here as a contender for the gold medal.